Hey guys, hello everyone and welcome to the channel. Welcome to another part of video in aptitude for CSI net series. Today in this video, we are going to talk about lines and angles. Okay, basically this comes under geometry part of uh, the aptitude portion and we'll try to see some questions which have been asked in the previous year. Also, I'll try to give you some questions so that you can also practice. And before that, I'll tell you the basics of lines and angles. Some basics which you have already studied in uh, like your junior classes but uh, just a quick revision of that okay so that things remain in your mind and become easy for you to solve questions whenever they are asked right so that's what this video is going to be all about um, i am quite sure that you are going to like this video and i'm really happy i'm really thankful for all of you who are supporting who are liking the previous videos if you like the video please give it a like if you have not watched the other part of this aptitude series i'll give you in the i button all the other videos so you can watch them as well and prepare for your aptitude part right now without wasting any time let's continue with our video all right so we'll start from lines and angles we'll talk about some relationship between lines and angles okay so let's say if there are two lines which are parallel okay so understand that this this particular line and this particular line are parallel to each other so lines needs to be parallel in order to apply this concept okay and there is a line which is bisecting or cutting these parallel lines okay so in that case these angles if i call this as angle x i call this as angle y uh, and on the same hand if I call it as A and I call it as B on the same hand if I call it as C and I call it as D and if I call this as P and I call this as Q okay so understand now what relationship is built so X will be equal to Y A will be equal to B C will be equal to D and P will be equal to Q okay so X and Y are equal a and B are equal, C and D are equal, P and Q are equal. These angles are called as corresponding angles. Okay, corresponding angles. Alright, then if you have uh, like angle A is equals to angle P also, on the same way angle X is equals to angle C also, and angle B is equals to angle Q, angle d is equals to angle y see a and p these are opposite to each other x and y are opposite to each other so wherever this x kind of thing is made by lines opposite angles also become equal to each other so these are called as opposite opposite angles okay and opposite angles are always equal all right now uh, then if you have angle p okay so angle P and angle B are also going to be equal to each other. So angle P will be equal to angle B and angle C will be called as uh, will be equal to angle Y. Okay. So this is equals to angle Y. On the same hand, angle A is equals to angle Q. Okay. So angle A is equals to angle Q and angle X will be equal to angle D. So angle X is equals to angle D. So these are the relationships which builds up these are called as alternate angles okay alternate angles now here p and b c and y are called as alternate interior angles because they are on the inner side angle x and d a and q are called as alternate exterior angles because they are on the outer side okay so these are the corresponding or these are like the relationships which builds up uh, for the angles okay which comes when you have parallel lines also there are some more properties like angle a plus angle x is equals to 180 degrees remember that if you have a straight line a straight line then angles on those straight line is equals to 180 degrees sum of angles in the same way this is also a straight line so x and p angle x plus angle p is also 180 degree on the same hand since it's a straight line so angle c and p so angle C plus angle P is also going to be 180 degree and on the same way A and C is also going to give you 180 degree. So angle A and angle C is also going to give you 180 degree. These are called as linear pairs. Okay. These are called as linear pairs. 
okay linear pairs so these are some basic things which you should know so that you can easily solve questions when the lines are given in that way okay now the next thing which comes is uh, the relationship between triangles and angles okay triangles and angles now here are few things which you need to know if you have a triangle let's say if you have a triangle abc okay so let's say this angle is a small a this angle is a small b and this angle is a small c so sum of all the three interior angles of a triangle is 180 degree so angle a plus angle b plus angle c is equals to 180 degree okay this is called angle sum property of a triangle in the same way if you have a triangle in which two sides are equal okay let's say this a b c are the triangle a b c is the triangle and this side is equals to this that means a b is equals to a c this is given to you okay if this is given in that case this angle and this angle is going to become equal to each other that means angle b and c will become equal to each other angle b will be equal to angle c this is called as uh, like uh, angle corresponding to equal sides okay so if two sides are equal in a triangle the angles corresponding to that side is going to be equal to each other okay this is again another property now if you have a triangle let's say this is a triangle a b and c if this is angle a this is angle b and this is angle c and if i extend this line and if i make this as angle x okay so angle x will be equal to angle a plus angle b this is called exterior angle property of a triangle so if any side of the triangle is extended okay and that angle is made out of that then it will be equal to sum of other two uh, like angles okay in the same way if i extend this line and make this angle as angle y okay so angle y will be equal to the sum of other two that means angle b plus angle c and if i extend this line and make it angle z let's say okay so angle z will be equal to angle a plus angle c same thing okay so this is called as exterior angle property of a triangle okay now uh, there are few more properties like if you have a, a equilateral triangle of course all the three sides are equal for that in that case the angles are always 60 degree all right 60 degree so these are certain properties corresponding to lines angles and triangles now based upon these only most of geometry questions are made uh, where you have to apply all these properties all these concepts to solve that out okay so using all these let's try to solve some questions which have been asked in the previous years of csir net exam okay so here is a question from csir 2021 exam june 2021 exam it says what is angle x in the symmetric diagram given below so it is the diagram x is what they are asking now if you look upon this diagram it looks very very different or very you know uh, something which is very difficult to solve but we'll try to understand we'll try to apply the basics of geometry basics of lines and angles and we'll try to solve this up okay first thing you can do is you need to see the missing angles and you need to find out their values okay so this is x what you can do you know that this is a straight line right this is a straight line so you can find out the value of this angle right you can find out the value of this angle because the sum of this angle and 130 should give you 120 degree how is it possible because of they form a linear pair i told you anywhere if you have a straight line and if there is an angle one is 130 degree the other one you don't know so how you will find out that the sum of both of them is 180 degree right so this will be 180 degree minus 130 degrees which will give us 50 degrees all right so if this is 130 this angle will be 50 degrees simple as that in the same way this is again a straight line this one is a straight line this is again 130 degree so this is again going to become 50 degrees in the same way this is also a straight line so this angle is also going to become 50 degrees okay so i have now right till now i have just applied the concept of linear pair angles okay now the next thing which i can do is i can simply uh, extend this okay extend means 
I can simply like extrapolate this line. Now on extrapolating, I got a triangle here. This is one of the triangle and I got one more triangle. So now I'm getting two triangles and now I can apply the other concepts. See in this bigger triangle. Okay. Let's call this as A, B, C. Okay. So in triangle A, B, C, I can find out this angle C. How I will do that? Because I know that the sum of all the three sides or three angles of a triangle is 180 degree. So in triangle ABC, what I can do is angle A plus angle B plus angle C should be 180 degrees. Now angle A is 50 degrees. Angle B is also 50 degrees. Angle C is what I need to find out. So angle C will be 80 degrees because 180 minus 100 will be 80. So this angle comes out to be 80 degrees. All right. Now once you found this angle is 80 degrees, you can find out this inside angle. How you will do that? Again, the same thing. You will apply the concept of linear pair because this is a straight line, right? From here to here, you, this is a straight line. So let's call these points. Let's call this point as X and let's call this point as Y. Now I'm going to do in triangle C, X and Y. Okay, the triangle C, X, Y. This smaller triangle I'm looking into. This angle is one, in, uh, sorry, this angle is 80 degrees, which I have already calculated. So the inside angle will be how much? Tell me, this will be 100 degrees because both of them should make 180 degrees, right? As a straight line. This one you already calculated. So basically I will write down angle C, not angle C basically, the inner angle. So angle x plus angle y plus angle x c y this should give us 180 degree angle some property of a triangle angle x is x i have to calculate that angle y i have calculated as 50 degree already and angle x c y i have calculated it as 100 degrees okay so 180 degrees so what will be the value of x this will be 150 so 180 minus 150 it is going to give us 30 degrees so the correct answer comes out 30 degree this was asked in csi 2021 and see all the three properties we have used angle some property of a triangle linear pair then uh, we have also tried to look upon the missing angle okay so the, using the, all those things we were able to call uh, like find out the value of x i hope this was clear to you all right let's take another question to solve Okay, so this question was asked in CSIR uh, June 2017 exam. It says three quarters of a triangle of a circle is shown in the figure. OA and OB are the two radii. OA and OB are two radii perpendicular to each other. That means they are making a 90 degree at each other. C is the point on the circle. What is the angle? Okay, now this question is based upon another concept which we have discussed earlier. Okay, so we have discussed in the chapter or in the video where I was discussing about circles, lines and circles and chords and circles. There I told you that if there is a circle and if it makes certain angle at the center, if let's say it makes any angle, okay. So if it makes X angle at the center, so it is going to make half angle at the circle. If, if at the center it is making X angle, so here it will make X by 2. Here, if it is making 100 degrees, it will make 50 degrees. If it is making uh, 200 degrees or 120 degrees, this will make 60 degrees here. Okay, so half of that. So same thing, if you see, this is a circle only, right? If you complete this, this is a circle only and the angle made at the center is 90 degrees. So how much angle this will be? This should be half of that, that is 45 degrees. And that's why your correct answer is option number four. Okay, so this was based upon the concept of angles in a circle. I hope this question is also clear to you. So now is the time when I will give you a homework question so that you can also understand and you can also practice uh, whatever we have discussed in the video. Okay, so this is the homework question of today's video. It is little tricky, okay, but if you just pay attention to what we have discussed in the class, it will be easy for you. You will be able to do this question. Okay, I'm quite sure. Okay, so the question says in the figure given below, this is the figure. ABC is a triangle. BC is parallel to AE. Understand BC is parallel to AE. Okay. So here parallel line and all the concepts will come. If BC is equals to AC, BC is equals to AC. So these two sides are equal to each other. 
then what is the value of angle C A E C A E they are asking this angle okay what is the value of this x that's what you have to calculate all right so i hope you all will be able to do options are there in the on the screen try to do this question and do let me know in the comment section what answer you got okay i will be very happy to see your answers over there all right now is the time when i will uh, solve the question which i gave in the previous video as a homework question okay so let's discuss that okay so in the previous video i gave this question where it says that ram and shyam's average age is 65 years the average of age of ram shyam and john is 53 years what is the age of john okay so it is given that the average of average of ram and shyam r and s i am writing is equals to 65 years how you will find out the average of ram and shyam so that means age of ram plus age of shyam divided by 2 is 65 right so what will be the sum of age of ram and shyam this will be twice of this okay you multiply with 2 to 65 that will become 130 let it be equation number 1 now it says average of age of ram shyam and john that means when i am doing average of ram shyam and john this is 53 years that means if i am adding r plus s plus j and now i have three quantities so i will divide it by 3 this is equals to 53 so what will be the sum of ram shyam and john you have to multiply with 3 over here so this becomes 159 this is equation number 2 now all you have to do is subtract among these two or substitute the value of r and s over here theek okay? hai so from equation 1 and 2 what we will do at the place of r and s i can write down 130 So it will be 130 plus j is equals to 159. J is equals to 159 minus 130. Sorry, not degrees. Yeah, j will be equal to 29 years. So the age of John is 29 years. Many of you are able to solve this correctly, and I'm very happy to see that. And this is how it should be solved. Okay, and that's the way of solving it, and that is the correct answer. Okay. I hope you understood it well. So that's it from my side for this particular video. These are different links of my other social media platforms. So if you are interested enough, want to connect me over there, you can connect me uh, from the links given in the description of this video as well, uh, or you can follow me on the handles mentioned on the screen. Right. So that's all from my side for this video. Thank you so much for watching. I will see you in the next one. Till then, have a great day. Bye bye. Take care. Hey guys. So An Academy has launched a Revise India series. It is a free video series for CSIR UGC NET June 2023 exam. In this series, you will be able to attend free sessions by the India's top educators for CSIR UGC NET. These sessions will be very helpful for your CSIR NET preparation and uh, for your June 2023 exam. So, all you have to do is follow the link given in the description of this video. You will come up to this particular page. There are various educators whose classes you will be able to see. All these classes are free, of course. so you can watch these classes you will be able to see the classes of all the subjects over here so depending upon which subject you belong to you can choose a particular class a particular educator a particular topic and watch that particular class